Hey guys, Zach at the Edwards RV. Today we're going to be showing you this 2021 Mountain Series 26 KBS Holiday Trailer from Outdoors RV. Start up front, point out a few things, and walk around the unit. Then inside, uh, right at the front, we got a power jack, a heavy duty power jack, a nice uh, cable caddy here. Obviously, we have the the chains hooked up to our lock, but normally they would hook up here out of the way, nice and neat. Two 30 pound propane tanks. Fiberglass finished wall with the armor guard up front, and then a spot for a couple six volt batteries and a toy lock just down below. That's part of the Mountain Series package. Um, moving to the back or to the side here, diamond scorn skirting. It's nice and hard, it's reinforced. Slam latch, inch thick compartment doors with magnetic catches, all metal hardware, not plastic hardware. Rubberized compartment storage floor. And there's a battery disconnect switch in there as well. And just below here, we have a solar panel outlet. So if you have a foldable panel, you can see into there, set on a table, wherever, in addition to the pre-wire on the roof. And notice the clearance lights are screwed. They're not snapped in. So any sort of off-road use, they're not going to fall out on you. Up above me, we have the power awning. And note the metal protection over top of it. And that will roll out with it, but when it's in, it's a weather guard, so it protects your awning fabric from the elements. Outside speakers, alloy steps, so they're nice and lightweight, and they won't rust like your traditional steel step will. Goodyear endurance tires, a top-end tire, alloy wheels, and then the Moorride CRE 3000 shackle kit. There is shocks, uh, KYB shocks, two per axle. And it has the off-road X4 package. So same thing. In our neck of the woods, we do a lot of campers are off-roading, taking the, the trailers uh, to the back country. This is built for it. And lots of clearance front to back. You'll notice the back kind of cuts up as such. So if you're going over uneven terrain, you get lots of clearance in the back. Uh, moving to the rear of the coach, uh, the upgraded ladder. The last year they actually updated this, but it's solid. There, you know, you walk on, you're not getting that shake like you would with the traditional trailer ladder it's it's totally solid the bumper for the 20 21 years the opening is quite a bit bigger so a lot of our customers uh have a bigger sewer hose and they finally open this up so that's something new for the 2021 as well as note the hitch in the back 10 gallon hot water tank um and this will likely have a good exact numbers for you on our website but probably 80 gallon fresh water which is something unheard of of a trailer this size but outdoors is, rv has been doing it for years um over here, one slide out on the unit, nice big slide. It has this, the Schwintec slide system, and it's all finished in fiberglass underneath. There's no kind of tarp material to catch on anything. It's all finished and sealed. Really, really good sealed. Triple sealed, and the water won't run in. It's got channels at the bottom here to run the water out should it fall and go on. Outlets, or uh, I should show these caps. These are for your handles. So you don't have to reach up and underneath in an awkward spot. You can go right through and you got your gray and your black handles here. And then a nice light and your green drain uh, is right there. That's the outside. Now we're going to hop inside, show you some more things. Okay, so walking into the unit, a couple of things to point out upon entry. Just to the right of me, you won't be able to see it on the video, but I, we have all our controls for the, the awning, the slide out, the water heater. The tanks is all right here, and it is equipped with a 12-volt fresh water tank heater, and that switch is right here as well. The one thing, in my opinion, that sells a 2.6 KVS is this right here. Um, it's become a trend in the Outdoors RV lineup, and it's the back window, so it lets a pile of natural light in here. The video won't do it justice for what it does, but if you're backed onto a lake lot or something, it'd just be, be great. So a few things to highlight is lots of counter space uh a hidden garbage and there's actually a door on the outside if you see on the walker on the outside there's a compartment on the back and you can unload the garbage through there so you don't have to have a bin taking up floor plan space on the inside the uh, farm style metal sink and it's all one big sink and then it has a, a protect protection for the bottom to kind of drain the stuff below and keep your dishes dry if you wanted to and then the hose or the sink is a uh, pull-out nozzle, which is kind of nice. It's a nice metal, you know, not plastic, has a nice uh, residential style feel. Glass range cover, 
nice aluminum kind of finished uh, oven. And then just below me here is the microwave. I know this is a trend in new home construction. It looks like it's becoming a trend in RV construction now. Norcold fridge, hardwood paneling. And you might not be able to see. But lots of storage and lots of storage up in the, the freezer as well. Up top, we have our, our speaker system, standard in most RVs. LED pot lighting. So it's all LED inside and out. It uses less power. Coleman Mock AC unit. Nice big dinette with a, a big table and solid. You know, you see, and it is removable. Tucked underneath, we don't have it in place here, but it is a little magazine kind of uh, table to go between the two recliners here. Uh, behind me, it does come with a TV. We take it out just for security purposes and so they don't grow legs on us, but it would have a TV and then there's a Bluetooth uh, DVD player down here. In this area, there's two lights or two um, windows. We have the skylight here and just behind you in the video up top, there's a vent there with a max air fan and there's three of those in the coach and I'm gonna show you where the other two are. But we'll walk this way, we'll go to the, the bathroom. Right beside we have a nice big kind of pantry area and lots of overhead uh, storage space on this unit above the uh, above the, the chairs there in the uh, over here by the TV. The bathroom, nice big walk-in bathroom, lots of counter space. You normally don't see this on, on most of our floor plans. And then the shower's got a kind of a cool little curtain here and a little bigger shower. And then once again, another Max Air fan. Moving on to the bedroom, pillow top mattress. Nice thick, it's, it's one you'd actually use. A little bit of storage underneath where we hide our TV. And then the Max Air fan just above. And as I mentioned outside, it is prepped for a uh, solar panel on the roof if you decide to add it. Short of that, that's the unit. If uh, there's any questions, feel free to mention, or feel free, feel free to reach out to us. We'll more than happy to help and we'll look forward to hearing from you.